Hello guys, once again welcome to a brand new science episode of Web TV Sri Lanka. Today I am going to discuss the seventh lesson and that means elements and compounds. By the way, I hope you guys will enjoy this up to the very end. So let's get started. Elements and compounds, great in science, seventh chapter. This is the classification of matter and let's discuss this first. Matter is divided into two as pure substances and mixtures and again pure substances classify into two groups as elements and compounds. Mixtures also classify into two groups as homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. We discussed this in third chapter and if you need to learn that chapter also you can check it in our channel Web TV Sri Lanka. So let's see. Our first topic is relative atomic mass and the symbol for relative, at relative atomic mass is AR. To measure the mass of items like a motor car, a brick, a loaf of bread, a teaspoon full of sugar and a tablet medicine, units like kilogram, gram and milligram can be used. But if the mass of very small particles such as carbon dioxide molecule or a helium atom is given in units like kilogram or gram, the value obtained is extremely small. Even the atogram, atogram means the, atogram is the smallest unit of mass. Even the atogram, the symbol for atogram is Ag and the smallest units of mass is too large to indicate the mass of atoms or ions. Even the atogram is too large to indicate the mass of atoms or ions. For example, the mass of an atom of the lightest element hydrogen is 1.674 into 10 to the power 23 grams. That is 0 0.0 blah 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 1674 grams. Atomic mass units. The mass of the unit relative to which the masses of other atoms are expressed is called the atomic mass unit. Okay, let's learn about relative atomic masses of first 20 elements. And the first element is hydrogen, the symbol is H and relative atomic mass is 1. Helium 4, Lithium 7, Beryllium 9, Boron 11, Carbon 12, Nitrogen 14, Oxygen 16, Fluorine 19, Neon 20, like that. By heart these values. You need hydrogen value. You need to buy heart hydrogen value. And you need to buy heart carbon value, oxygen value, sodium value, calcium value, and chlorine also. These are the important stuff. And, and let's go to the other slide. Relative molecular mass and the symbol for relative molecular mass is MR. Relative molecular mass. Mass of one molecule of the element or compound is divided by 1 to 12 into mass of one carbon to L at. Since many elements are reactive, their atoms do not exist as free atoms. They exist naturally as molecules formed by joining two or more atoms of them. Compounds are composed of molecules formed by the combination of atoms belonging to different elements. So we have a chart here and these are some relative molecular masses of some elements and compounds. Hydrogen the relative molecular mass is 2, Nitrogen 28, Oxygen 32, Carbon Dioxide 44, Glucose 180. Okay, let's discuss activity number 1 in your textbook. Exercise 1. Calculate the relative molecular masses of the following compounds. Our first problem is ammonia and let's see. They have given us the needed relative atomic masses of elements that need to represent ammonia NH3. We have hydrogen and nitrogen. So let's discuss how to represent relative molecular mass of ammonia NH3 ammonia okay one nitrogen atom and it is 14 14 plus three hydrogen atoms and that means 1 into 3 so 14 plus 3 equals 17 okay let's move to the second problem 
H2SO4 sulfuric acid we need to represent the relative molecular mass of sulfuric acid and we have the relative atomic masses of elements need to represent this sulfuric acid so two elements of hydrogen and one into two plus so sulfur one element of sulfur and four elements of oxygen so here 32 so 16 into 4 is 64 so the balance of these are 32 32 60 92 96 98 the relative molecular mass of h2so4 then sulfuric acid is 98 let's discuss our final problem in activity one i am sorry guys and this is not magnesium oxide this is sucrose c2h22 and o11 let's learn how to do the relative mass or relative molecular mass of sucrose Car 12 carbon atoms and 12 into 12 plus 12 into 1 and 11 oxygen atoms 16 into 11 12 into 12 144 22 16 into 11 is 176 so we need to get the sum of those three values and that is 342 the relative molecular mass of sucrose is 342 the ionic compounds such as sodium chloride nacl the scientific name of sodium chloride is nacl exist as lattices but not molecules its formula is written to indicate the simplest ratio in which Na plus and Cl minus ions are present in the ionic lattice. In such compounds, what is calculated as the relative molecular mass is the mass relevant to their empirical formula. It is known as the relative formula mass or formula mass. Activity number two. Okay, let's learn how to do those also relative formula mass of those elements magnesium oxide, calcium carbonate, and potassium sulfate. First one is magnesium oxide. So one atom of magnesium and that means 24 plus four, two atoms of oxygen, 16 into 2. 16 into 2, 32 plus 24 equal 24, 30, 54, 56. Our next one is CaCO3 and that is calcium carbonate. So one atom of calcium 40 plus one atom of carbon also three atoms of oxygen stick in into three 32 48 plus 12 plus 40 40 plus 10 50 52 52 plus 40 92 and 100 relative formula mass of calcium carbonate is 100 K2SO4 and that is potassium sulfate. Two atoms of potassium and 39 into 2 plus one atom of sulfur 32 plus four atoms of oxygen. So 32 here 64 and 39 times 2 is 78. The sum of these three answers are 174. Relative formula of potassium sulfate is 174. Let's learn about Avogadro constant. When a mass of any element equal to its relative atomic mass is taken in grams and it is seen that it contains the same number of atoms irrespective of the element. Avogadro constant value is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 and it is equal to those all atoms. 12 grams of carbon is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. These all are equal to this Avogadro constant equation or the value. Similarly, it can be also shown that when a mass of any substance equal to its relative molecular mass is taken in grams, 
It contains the same number of molecules. After the great scientist Amedeo Avogadro, this constant number is called Avogadro constant. The presently accepted value of this constant is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. And this Avogadro constant is symbolized as L. Let's learn about a mole. In the SI unit system, the unit used to measure the amount of substance is the mole. Unit used to measure the amount of substance is the mole. The mole is the amount of substance that contains as many basic building units, atoms, molecules, ions, as there are atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon, C12 isotope. The number of basic units contained in a mole of any substance is a con constant. The number of basic units contained in a mole of any substance is a constant and it is equal to the Avogadro constant or 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. I discussed this. One mole of any element or compound is equal to Avogadro constant and that means 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. A mole of an element or compound that exists as molecules means a mole of molecules of them. Since mole is a unit that indicates a very large amount, it is not suitable to measure the amount of substances that we come across in day-to-day -day life. Therefore, the unit mole is practically used to measure the amounts of things such as atoms, molecules and ions, which exist in very large numbers. One mole of sodium atoms is equal to 23 grams of sodium. One mole of glucose molecule is equal to 180 grams of glucose. Let's discuss about molar mass. Molar mass is the mass of a mole of any substance. Molar mass is the mass of a mole of any substance. Though relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass have no units, grams per mole, GML or MOL minus 1 or kilograms per mole, KG MOL minus 1 is the unit of the molar mass. The unit of molar mass are grams per mole GMOL minus 1 or kilograms per mole kg mol minus 1. Relative atomic mass of sodium. The scientific symbol for sodium is Na and it is 23. Molar mass of sodium is 23 grams per mole. Relative molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 44 and molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44 grams per mole. Like that. Amount of substance and that, that means number of moles is equal to mass of the substance divided by molar mass of the substance. Let's discuss these questions also. NH4Cl and that is ammonium chloride. Okay, let's find the relative molecular mass first. NH4, 14 plus 4 hydrogen atoms, 1 into 4 and Cl, ammonium chloride, Cl, the atomic mass. The relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5 and we need to add this. 14 plus 4 plus 35.5 equal 53.5. And that means the molar mass of this is 53.5 grams per mole. According to the Avogadro constant. So let's discuss about Mg3N2 and this is not sodium chloride, this is a mistake. This is magnesium nitride. So let's find the relative molecular mass of magnesium nitride. Three atoms of three atoms of magnesium and that is 24 into 3 plus 2 atoms of nitrogen 14 into 2 72 plus 28 72 92 and it is 100 relative molecular mass of magnesium nitride is 100 and the molar mass of it is 100 grams per mole 
let's find the relative molecular mass of ammonium carbonate 14 plus 1 into 4 into 2 plus 12 plus 16 into 3 3 oxygen atoms is 16 into 3 and 1 carbon atom is 12 and 1 nitrogen atom is 14 and 4 hydrogen atom is 4 and we need to multiply this whole bracket by 2 so here is 36 plus here 60 so the final answer is 96 and the molar mass of it is 96 grams per mole exercise questions this has the basic stuff co2 12 plus 16 into 2 12 plus 32 equal 34 44 40 4 relative molecular mass the molar mass of it is 44 and super more NaCl sodium chloride we discussed this and let's solve this again 23 plus 35.5 is 23 20 55 58.5 the molar mass of it is 58.5 g ml mol minus 1 CaCO3 calcium carbonate Ca40 plus 12 plus 16 into 3 48 plus 12 and here 4 60 plus 40 is 100 and the molar mass of it is 100 grams per mole CuSO4 and that is copper sulfate this is not sodium chloride copper Cu 63.5 plus the relative atomic mass of sulfur is 32 and here 16 into 4 16 into 4 equal 64 63.5 63.5 plus 32 plus 64 is 159.5. The molar mass of it is 159.5 GMOL minus 1. Cl2O7 and that is the chlorine heptos heptoside. Again, sorry guys, this is Cl and the relative atomic mass of it is. 35.5 2 chlorine atoms and there is 35.5 into 2 plus 7 oxygen atoms the sum of those two are 609 and that is 609 grams per mole So guys thanks for watching up to the very end and if you have any doubt or a question leave a comment and if you like this video put a like and put a comment too don't forget to subscribe so bye bye